Okay, the third and final energy system we're looking at is the aerobic system. There are two parts of the aerobic system. These are the Krebs cycle and the electron transport chain. Now aerobic means with oxygen. Okay, so we've just completed, we're at two minutes of exercise with our glycolytic system and now the oxygen is present, we need more oxygen to our working muscles. Uh, that system is depleted, your carbohydrate stores are depleted, so now we are going to move on to our aerobic system. So we're going to get our ATP from oxygen. So I'm going to now we look at the two chemical reactions that take place in order to get this, uh, to get the ATP created. Krebs cycle here carries on from the glycolytic system. If you remember, pyruvic acid was a byproduct. Pyruvic acid is taken into the Krebs cycle. Now this occurs in the mitochondria. So pyruvic acid is taken into that mitochondria. Chemical reactions are occurring, which result in two molecules of ATP, carbon dioxide, and hydrogen. That hydrogen is then taken to the electron transport chain. Electron transport chain still takes place within the mitochondria and results in 34 ATP molecules being created. So as you can see it's more time consuming which is why it takes a while for it to kick in um, but it re results in 34 which is a high number of ATP molecules.